Hey guys, today we're here at Black Rifle Coffee Company. Uh, you probably heard of them, they make a ton of awesome coffee, but they also have a print shop to print all the merch for the brand. So let's go check it out. Hey, what's up, yeah, sir? Hey, how's How it going? are you, man? Good, how you doing, finally? Good, yeah, what's going on? You know, just working. Yeah. So, welcome. This is a hell of a front entrance. Right, it's a little <laughs> bit different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, our piece of it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's a standard retail shop. Yeah, yeah. But it's our first one. You gotta make sure that this is always stocked. Yes, that's me. This is the first retail? Yeah, so we keep growing so much. We have different retail shops opening. How many more of these are there though? Like... Right now there's eight, and then we have 11 more slotted just through half of next year. Right. So it's a lot of shirts. Yeah. We gotta get <laughs> no, I know, yeah, yeah. You guys are doing all the online stuff though too, right? Yeah, so that's how we started. Right. Everything was e-com. Right. So once we built this out, it's like, dang, this is <laughs> awesome. Right. And Evan's keeping it going and right. it's getting bigger. So our art department, we'll have to have you chat with them because they're not located in our shop, but it's all the same building. Oh, really? Yeah, kind of a eclectic layout. Yeah, yeah. But well, like I said, this is a hell of an entrance. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah. So they, it's the same art team, the guys that are developing the shirts and how I print them. That are doing all of the bags doing. and cans and everything? Yeah. So that's one of the more recent ones. It's awesome. just. Yeah, I, I'm not even going to open the one that you sent me, the Yeti one. We'll get another one. <laughs> I just want to have it on the shelf because I love it so much. I understand. I do the same. But. Yeah, if you want to come back. Yeah, to I want to go check the shop out. I love that it's like very well decorated, everything. Yeah. Like even the blackout on the offices is in the wall. So that's what is so awesome. We do so much of it ourselves. Right. But it's just easier that way. Right. And the artwork for these bags, I mean, just said it comes yeah. from in house. Mm -hmm. It's our specialty roast, so everybody's really proud of where they're going. Right. And it's just cool. It's just so cool to like grow a brand and then be like, oh yeah, we're gonna do all of the printing and everything ourselves. Yes. You know what I mean? So of sending everything out. Yes. So this room, it's kind of ideal for who we are. So it's the main conference room for Salt Lake City. And it's a good reminder of why we do what we do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Try to make money and give it back to the community. Yeah. Guys like that. Oh, this is such a... Why did you guys pick this spot specifically in Salt Lake? Salt Lake, it made sense. So Evan, he'd been in the military and he'd been stationed in different areas. Right. So Colorado specifically started to really look into this type of stuff. And it just made business sense. He had a partner that was at Draper, not far. Mm -hmm. And said, yeah, let's start it here. Do it here in Salt Lake, yeah. Just grown out. Yeah, dude, Utah is so beautiful. Like, since we've been here for like a couple days, like pretty much everyone that's with us is like, we need to move here. Like, we'll just, you just need to live here now. Hey, <laughs> we would say welcome, because it's. I was like, oh, second branch of upstate? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> in well, Utah. We'll save you a spot, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not competing, so. No? No, it's all good. My career was cut short. I did eight years and then they said, no, you're hurt, see you later. Right. So keeping in touch with guys and being like, hey, I know I can't help you, but you want some coffee? Right. Just that We'd little bit. We'd love to give you that little bit of comfort. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. So that's my little trying to feel better about that stuff. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I mean, it's super awesome to be like passionate about what you're doing. I mean. Not, you're not just printing shirts, like you're doing Yeah. the whole package. Yeah. Oh, a nice breeze coming in. Yeah. Our beautiful warehouse. So, so what's all stored in here for the most part? Mostly green beans, man. Pallets and pallets of green beans that were roasted into the coffee. But everything comes in and out through this central warehouse. Right. So 
our shirts come in. I'm not the guy counting them out anymore, thankfully, right. but somebody else. And uh, we've got a great team that keeps track so of So what all, all happens in this facility? I know you were talking about like the design and all that stuff, but like how much of the coffee stuff and how much of like what you are handling is in this building? That's what's crazy. It used to be everything, but we'll roast about 5,000 pounds a week here. Mm -hmm. And then our facility in Manchester, Tennessee, is about 200,000 pounds a week. So we way outgrew right, <laughs> yeah, a long yeah, yeah. time ago. Well, definitely with the popularity of the coffee, like keeping up with that, I feel like has to be huge. Yeah, and the, the canned coffee, we don't really have that coming in except for staging to ship different areas. Right. But that market is huge mm -hmm. and just keeps growing. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that more and more. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all, it's all good. So. Yeah. The smell in here, it's just, it's not a print shop smell, it's a like coffee all the time smell. <laughs> there you go. So that's one thing that I've loved while being here, because I helped build this print shop. Right. So I've been here. Well, that was my question is, how did you get involved? Like how did you, like you started the print shop or you helped develop the print shop? Or? Super weird. This was all a fulfillment center, because everything was here. Right. And we had just an open warehouse back there that we'd store stuff. And I was packing boxes. So I just graduated from school with a couple of degrees. I was gonna be the fishing game guy. And state of Utah had other plans. So I started working here and just talking to the guys. Like, We're gonna right. start up a print shop. You ever done that? No. <laughs> you ever done that, wanna learn? Yeah, so that was right. it. Right. So everything I know about screen print is what we've been able to pick up awesome. here. Uh, Fulfillment, we had to move outside and make room for everything else. Yeah, you got a good stock here. Yes. It's like you're the one that has half of the Richardson hats that everybody's looking for. Oh my goodness, those. <laughs> right are, here behind you? Yeah, those, you feel my pain there. Yeah. Because we sell a ton of hats. And it's right, like, right. I know I'm taking them from other people, but I have to. <laughs> no, you're gonna need them. So, I mean, you're selling them, you need them, so. Yeah. But yeah, our sellers, right now, they're all, like I was saying, our Afghani commandos yeah. that had worked in the factories with shoes and boots. Right. And these guys are awesome. So, they keep cranking these hats what out. What's he doing hats in here right now? Yeah, so this is Amir. How's it going, man, how are you? And then so across, on. yeah, across from him is usually another gentleman named Safi. And those guys, man. Cranking. Yeah, they just get them moving. What's going on over here? This is outside of the things that I love. So <laughs> it's cool because it's a different way to display our artwork. It's right. a sticker club that we oh, have. Okay, yeah, yeah. And so that's the envelope stuffer. And Ashley, she's our... Hi lead embroidery person and said that she'd take on this extra responsibility of kicking that So just putting sticker packs together? Yep. So is uh, these all envelopes for that? Yeah. Yep. So typical It's pretty awesome. So you guys fashion. just do like a monthly sticker club thing or what? How yep. does that work? Yeah. Because a lot of the coffee that we do is on a monthly subscription so so you guys basing a lot of the designs off of the new coffees and making sticker versions and putting them in the packs? Yeah, and ideas that are cool but they don't make it to right. bags. We'll End throw up them on a stickers, sticker yeah. and it's unique. So. Right, oh, super cool idea. And then our embroidery section is pretty small. We just have these five Melcos. Yeah, but the thing of it is, is like, size isn't necessarily an issue for you guys because you're not producing for you're not doing anything direct to any customers other than yourselves. Right. So like you're growing with, with the company. So mm -hmm. if you're cranking with that, it's not like you need to be like, oh, I got deadlines and this. It's just your, your own thing. And that's where, dude, the podcast has been a blessing because <laughs> I don't see a whole lot of the other things, right. but I hear about it. Right. So we've got one customer that's ourselves. Right. If the deadline doesn't work because product just isn't there. It's yourself. I gotta work it out with my team. Right. And not like, hey, you guys suck, why isn't this here? Right. So. It's so cool, yeah. 
No, I haven't been in a shop that's specifically just putting stuff all for themselves. Yeah. So this is awesome. Like, I'm, I'm all for this. Like, it's so cool to be like, yeah, we're I'm literally everything in here is for us. Yep. So yeah, I can't get over that smell all day. Yeah, so here it is. It's going to get noisier. <laughs> but our roaster, it cranks out a good amount. But we just outgrew it. In the past, our shirts, when they go through and get sealed up, when people would open them, it smells it coffee. like coffee. Right. And it's unintentional too, because it's not like you're spraying like, oh, make sure these shirts smell like coffee. Yeah. It's just a byproduct of it being literally right next to the road. Yep. Because that breeze, it goes this way. Right, right, right. You're like, all right, that's cool. You probably don't even smell it anymore either. Yeah. So used to it? No, but I get home and I'll like hug my kids. Like, oh, you smell good. <laughs> right. It's weird because I've been working all day. Right. But yeah, I smell like coffee. I go home and hug my kids and they're like, oh, you smell like stream rain. <laughs> like, I don't smell like coffee. I just smell like inks and oil. Yep. Watch so what's going to be in the other, you said near here is going to be another facility? Yeah, I outgrew my shop. So it's going to be more print shop? Yep. So I'll show you where we're at and how much capacity I don't have. <laughs> we crank out just over 400,000 shirts this year. And I had to send out another 350,000 this year. Dang. So, yeah, yeah, you guys need I, more stuff. Yep. Can't keep up. No. But this thing. Game changer for you guys. Oh my heck. Well, that's what we were talking about. It's just like the fact of finishing products. You know what I mean? You guys aren't just printing designs. Like you're doing the whole like labeling, bagging, getting it fully ready for retail. Yeah. Everything's retail. Like there's no, oh, this job's retail, this one's not. It's like, it's literally every single thing you do. Yep. Is retail. It's just. Might get stored different, but yeah, it's all the same right. thing. So how many, what I'm seeing right now is how many new designs like this versus just the standard like logo shirts. Are you cranking on just regular like logo tees? Yes. We crank those out consistently. So that was the bulk of that 350 that is outsourced. Right. Was just standard designs. We right. know we blow through them to make room on the presses for all the new stuff. For the new stuff, right. And that's that's one of our puppies. Sorry. You shouldn't have said that. Now Brett's gonna film nothing but the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Vinny's awesome. We love him. Shop dog. And there's usually seven to 10 dogs wandering in the building. Oh, really? Yeah, all the time. Employees just bring their dogs from, from home? Yeah. I mean, what else do you do on break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pet, pet, pet dogs. <laughs> Brad, they're not hiring. So, so what do you guys got going on over here? Old gauntlet? Yes. This was one of the original presses. So we started with the gauntlet. We had a diamondback and we had a small sportsman. Mm -hmm. And then that evolved into, we'll keep the gauntlet because it does its job really well. Right. And then we got this other sportsman in now that's two years old. And we've just been maxing these out while we can. Right. But well, I mean, even if, you know, you could just do the logo keys on like one press by the sound of it, and then all the other stuff on the, the Sports Mini HD over there. Yep. That's what we try Is to do. Is that the flow? Yeah. We're limited a little because she's a little worn. Well, yeah, it looks, I mean, it's <laughs> still cranking, still working. But. Yep. Yep. That's what we love, man, because. This old 80s logo MR. Yep, yep. Doesn't get better. The funny thing is, we still see these all the time. It's not like you're like, oh, I have this old gauntlet. Like, there's so many shops that are like, yeah, I use this thing every day. Yeah. Like, it's still working. Yep. No, it's. Yeah. Like I said, it's good equipment. Right. It's so got that sweet dole sticker on it. <laughs> so, you guys are, you said you're expanding the print shop. What did you expand and what are you doing differently? So, we've got. This is about 4,500 square feet for me. Right. And we're moving into 55,000 square feet. So we're gonna keep this press going. We've got two Cobras on the way. Are you moving everything over there? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna stand up all the new equipment and shift a team over right. to keep it running while right. we tear this out. This. Yeah. At the very beginning, we just grabbed what we could. 
No, it makes total sense because like you're like, oh, I'm just gonna start like let's get into this and start doing it. Like obviously get what you can get. Yeah. But, like you can tell like the gradual step of like had that, had that, bought this. Oh shit, we need something bigger. And that's what you're doing right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this we've next, all done that. This next piece is what I'm super proud of because we just got a eye image mm -hmm. and oh my heck, that thing's awesome. Right. It's yeah. It's one of those things. Every time I talk to somebody about an eye image, they're like, "Why didn't we get this like four years ago?" Yeah. The very first shirt that we printed in here was our pot. Oh head. really? Yeah. <laughs> that's hell of a first shirt. Right. And then now as we keep moving up in stuff, a lot of these other designs are coming from I guys that, that so used to print in here. And now they're just only in our art department right. cranking stuff out. So I like to put it up on the wall and right. yeah, yeah, sure. say, yep, you guys are pretty cool. Come back anytime. <laughs> right. We had yeah. a couple of Connexes. So, yeah, that can be a dark room. So the exposure unit is right here next door not as well lit yeah it's very dark in here and then our coating area and storage for those Do you guys areas. have lights in here or you're just trying to keep it dark no that ballast crapped out on me i was gonna say because that was something that was kind of like uh i don't know like a screen printing myth was that you don't have to have a dark dark room like it could be super well lit in here yeah as long as they're like uv safe bulbs like even you yep. have these red ones but you can get like bright LED bulbs, you just get the slip covers that go over them. And yeah. it's just like bright yellow in here. Yep, like the ones out there, super bright and we love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just got a transition in here. So how are you guys being that it's your brand, mm -hmm. you're just saving all the screens? Yes. So if we, we know if it's gonna be a limited time offer or it's a standard, we're gonna keep it around. Right. So we'll run it and as the screens are holding up, we'll just set them back set up. Set it in, yeah. Just and cleaning off the ink and putting them back on the shelf. Yeah. Oh, it sounds so awesome as far as like, dude, it's like, I hear it like this. I'm like, man, it would rule so hard to just be like, oh yeah, we're gonna put that design later all the time. Yeah. And it's like done. You don't have any customers breathing down your neck other than yourselves. Yep. Just so cool. It's something I gotta remind myself all the time. Like, it's unique. Yeah, no, totally so, is. Yeah, yeah. I, well, that's really why we wanted to come see you guys. It's just like the, it's the whole story of it. You know what I mean? It's the whole thing. Like, it's growing so much that you have to have a full-fledged like print shop. It's not like some people that do this that do their brands. It's like a manual in a basement, and they're like, oh yeah, I do like a couple hundred shirts a month. Yeah. You guys have like a full-fledged like facility to print merch for the brand. Yeah. We're moving a lot. Yeah, it's so cool. I gotta set this down because it's so. What's up awesome. here? Just more offices. Oh man, yeah, that's my office and my assistant. So I see that if it gets hot, you're taking care of. Oh no, that points this way. <laughs> that's pointing this way. My office, it gets pretty roasty. Oh, and those guys are doing archery outside. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can show you the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, might as well walk over there right yeah, now. Yeah, let's then. do it. Yeah. Okay. But anytime I want to go outside. Yeah. And there's. Is Amanda. Hey. She's I like ours. your office. Hey. How are you? you? Good. How are you guys? <laughs> Pretty good. Good. So this is Dylan, and we're super stoked. I made you send him stuff in the past. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then the M&R crew. Any of the Sasquatch designs I ask him for? Yes. <laughs> Happy so what's in the lives. containers? Dude. Just more stock? <laughs> We've got what hats we can get, and then this is packaging. Whatever shirts we're gonna be working on next that aren't on the racks, they'll be in here. This is something like literally a lot of shops are talking about right now, is doing this exact same thing. And I'm I'm actually in the, oh, in, in the phase of doing this right now. Like I just bought two uh, semi-trailers. Yeah. yeah. But the problem is, is my shop is all like dock height. Right. So I had to buy semi-trailers because I needed them dock height. Oh, okay. So I'm basically like, if you picture this being my building, it's up and then I'm gonna have the trailers and then we're gonna build a dock out to the trailer so that I can just wheel in the trailer and then wheel out. Yeah. So if I had shipping containers on the ground, it would be a huge pain. I would have to have like a forklift to like go up and then up. Yeah, like an all-terrain forklift. Right. <laughs> so, no, a lot of people are talking to me all the time about like, oh, because right now, especially being people so busy and they want to get as much stock as they can. Yep. Like, what do you do with containers? You know, do you have issues with containers? Like, can I put it in my parking lot? No, that's... 
one thing, like, everybody that started this place, we were in the military, so you deal with these shipping containers All everywhere time. you go. Right. And they work. They hold stuff. Yeah. And why not? It used to just be two, but again, we just outgrow everything. Well, the cool thing is you can just keep adding them. Yeah. And to a point. There's a ton of them over there. But then we got to make way for the archery stuff. Right. Well, yeah. The important stuff. Yeah. So we'll go check that out. Yeah. We've got a a knife maker that we partnered with. His forge is the front of this building. Uh, extremely nice knives. Nice. Yeah. Seems pretty on brand. Yeah. To have a knife of a guy forging knives. Yep. All of the stuff that you see, it's 100% Evan. Mm -hmm. It's what he loves, and it's him taking care of the people working oh, for yeah, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So we have cookouts here on Friday. There's a couple of Traegers on standby. We've got more Traegers out in another hangar <laughs> just for cooking stuff. The gym, because you know Salt Lake now, and if you got to drive across town, you don't want to work out. Right. So we just put it here. Just do it here. Yep. So behind here is our art department. So yeah, come on in here. Hey. How's it going? So obviously art department. This is it. And uh, the banners that we were just talking about. Well, well, Amanda keeps herself going with all of that and a lot of prototyping. We're like, not quite sure how it's gonna look. Try right. it here. Right. But yeah, this team, like I said, three that are in here right now, their artwork's up on the wall because we were all printing together. Mm -hmm. Now they merged over. Now they're in here doing this part of it. Yeah. And what art department doesn't have a huge gun safe? Right, I mean. You, you need not? them. Right, exactly. How's it going, guys? Hey, how's it going? Hey. I'm sorry about our design director. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. You don't have to be sorry about anything in front of us. <sighs> well, here's the thing. Well, they're fine. They do have to apologize. Have you seen what he did here? I don't know if go I want back. to. We have the exact same thing in our shop. The darts everywhere? Yeah, just darts everywhere. Oh. So are all those guys in there designers? They're just coming up with stuff all the time? Yeah, so we've got like a branding director, an art production director, and then the department itself, they kind of split up the task. Right. And then it's all to say, okay, mm -hmm. here's the ideas that we have. We want to run with them. And if we got to change stuff, they're super dialed in with making sure everything is loaded and ready to go. So this is an enclosed corner. So you remember walking in here, it's one doorway. Right. So we've got to have all these other options. Everybody's got a Nerf gun. It turns into a Nerf gun. Well, it's funny because like every door is aimed at the front door. Exactly. Right. And so depending on how somebody's hiding out, you'll look, but not that well, and you're going to get hit with a dart. <laughs> but what they were doing, it was 4th of July season, right? So you got the red banger pop things. Yeah. And they made a trip wire that you couldn't <laughs> see. Through this doorway over here. Walk through it, and then those red poppers snap so freaking loud and like there's a lot of combat that's in here <laughs> not sure how it's gonna go over but it's funny yeah <laughs> so. what's over in there just stock stuff more stuff to check out yeah so we keep a lot of samples on hand mm -hmm. and some ideas that we've printed but they didn't really go to market yet and we just want to revisit later right we'll keep them on this shelf here are these all the bag covers so far yeah, and some that are coming up. Some are ideas that didn't make it. The others are on the shelf right now. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty rad, dude. Everybody that it's works just, in here is kind of proud of. Oh yeah, for sure. This. Yeah, I mean, it's it's funny too. Like me being a shop owner, it's like you yourself are super like nerdy and invested in printing because that's me and that's what I like to do. Yeah. But I can't I can't expect all of my employees just have the same love and respect for the craft of screen printing. They, it, you know what I mean? Like it, to them, it's a, it's a job and it's cool to be there and they like doing what they're doing, but you guys are on a whole nother level of like 
dedication to what you're doing because there's so much more behind it. You know what I mean? It's so it's just so cool. Like I said, everyone in here is like way more into it and buddies than the average print shop. Well, hey man, thanks for showing us around. Yeah, for sure. thank you. It's, it's great so to have cool. you. Yeah, yeah.